Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a bit of an unboxing for you guys. I recently did a purchase of a few different things from the US and I got them all consolidated and sent over. So I thought I'd talk to you a bit about what I got and how I actually was able to get everything sent to me here in Australia. So here's the box and I've actually already gone to the liberty of opening this just because I thought otherwise it would be a bit too difficult. But um, essentially I use a service called Ship It To and they are kind of a global mail forwarding service. They let you consolidate a number of different shipments. However, you do need to pay an annual fee of about $50 to be able to access that kind of privilege as they've got different account levels. However, I, for me, I find it's worth it because I do tend to buy quite a few things from the US. Yeah, I'll have that account. I've got it upgraded. Um, aside from that, the service is, you know, you're not paying a monthly fee or anything. And then I will shop online at a number of different US retailers, possibly ones that don't even ship to New Zealand, like Air, Kaz, um, Everlane is a big one, Nordstrom sometimes for makeup and things. Uh, I think you can sometimes buy from Sephora. I haven't managed to do this successfully, so we've got Sephora here now anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But um, essentially, yeah, you can buy from all those different retailers and you can get it sent to your box that you have within their warehouse and then they'll consolidate all the shipments. You do have to pay a dollar fee per package that you get sent there and then they also charge maybe a couple of dollars for packing it for you and then they give you a number of different postal options so I generally tend to do TNT or DHL just because it's faster and I figure if I'm buying from three different places I might as well just spend 60 bucks on shipping but that's how I tend to do it and it usually takes uh, less than a week for it to arrive so this is the box that I've got and I'm just going to start by opening it. I have a few beauty bits in here and also a few new things from Evelyn. Okay, so the first thing that stands out to me is the Lorac Pro palette. I have been wanting this for the longest time and so I thought I might as well just go ahead and purchase it. I got this from Nordstrom and it comes with a little behind the scenes eye primer that's really cute. I've heard such good things about this palette, so that's part of the reason why I really wanted to pick it up, but it looks like this, and it has, how many shades has it got in there? 16 eyeshadows, and they're all just really nice. I think I would use every single one of these, even the blue. I mean, I think, I think you could definitely make that work, maybe as an under, you know, just underneath the eye. But it's so pretty, it's got eight matte shades and eight shimmer shades. So I will swatch. Actually, I really love this gold, it's so pretty. Oh wow, and it's so buttery and pigmented. I don't know if you can, yeah, see that on the back of my hand. Yeah, that's just from one swipe. So I so can't wait to use this. I actually was dying to open up this package this morning and just, you know, tear into everything, but I thought I would wait so that I could film this for you guys. So I actually got a couple of other things from Nordstrom and one of the things I got was a lipstick from MAC and it's one of their retro matte lipsticks and this is in the shade Runway Hit and it's funny because I know I bought this but I don't even remember what colour it is so I have a whole lot of things on my wish list on Nordstrom. Okay so it's just a really pretty kind of peachy toned pink, pinky nude so I think that's going to be really nice. I didn't have a lot of luck with the Ruby Woo matte lipstick from MAC, so I'm kind of hoping that this isn't going to be quite so drying. In terms of a swatch, oh wow, yeah, okay. So that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's going to be a really nice summer shade, I think. Then I also picked up one of the Clinique Cheek Pops, Blush Pops. Gosh, I don't even know. Um, in the shade Pink Pop. And I have actually um, swatched these before admire and they just seem so lovely it's kind of this really pretty little daisy pattern I don't know if you can see um, it's just oh, I don't even, oh, so bad for ruining it um, it's just a really kind of you can't really see it it's quite subtle quite sheer it's just a really pretty pink shade I think it's gonna be really nice for summertime so I got a, quite a few other makeup bits now that I look at the box. But, so I'll just dive straight into it. Uh, I did a Milani order. So these are the bits and pieces that I grabbed from Milani. I grabbed one of their baked blushes in Luminoso. I actually have the baked blush in Rose Doro and I hate it. It's got these huge chunks of glitter in it and I just feel like it's not very nice at all. But this one looks really good actually. Yeah. 
It doesn't have any flaky bits in there. It's just a really pretty peachy colored blush. Yeah, that actually is really nice. It's this top one. Yeah, can you see? I'm going to do some close-up swatches, so that should give you a better indication. But yeah, that's really pretty. I can't wait to use this one. Then I grabbed one of their color statement lip liners in the shade All Natural. I thought this just might be one of those, you know, I hate to say it, but Kylie Jenner, kind of my lips but better type of shade. Uh, one of you guys actually suggested that I purchase them, so I thought I would give it a go. Yeah, oh wow. It's quite a brownie toned nude. It's pretty. It's very creamy, so that'll be really fun to use. Then I grabbed a couple of the, are these the Pure Matte? lipsticks. I don't even know if it says on here. It doesn't say, but I got the shades Matte Naked and Matte Darling. And this is Matte Naked. That's kind of a plummy brown shade. It's the best way to describe it. There's actually kind of sheer. I guess you probably have to build up the color. It's this one here. On the bottom it's quite nice. Very creamy formula. To the touch and then the other one yeah matte darling is kind of like a more fuchsia tone pink and this is kind of pretty i thought this would be fun for spring it's that one there i really like that pretty and then because i spent 20 dollars or something i got a milani um, nail polish as their color statement nail polishes i really like these i've got one of the other shades um moving forward i think this one here is Periwink, and I thought this is just a really pretty periwinkle blue shade. I actually quite like the formula of these as well. They dry down pretty quickly, and they're quite opaque too. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this one as well. Okay, so just randomly, I've got this Jackson Galaxy toy for Charlotte. Um, I have been watching so much my cat from Hal just for work, and Jackson uses this whenever he's kind of working with these cats with behavioral issues and they all seem to love it so I thought this would be really great for Charlotte just to kind of keep her busy and play with her in the evenings just as the other toy I've got and I just kind of chewed on it a little bit so yeah I think this is going to be a lot of fun and I'll let you guys know how it goes I'm not sure if you guys are cat people but yeah I'm, I'm hoping to kind of grab the other one that he's got with a feather these actually ship internationally but I thought given that I was getting all these things from the US I might as well just send it to my PO box type thing and just shove it in there so yeah this will be a lot of fun I'm gonna play with Charlotte after this so I'll let you guys know how this goes okay so I also did a beauty joint order and I grabbed I actually think I just got lipsticks <laughs> just looking at this oh my god I did just get lipsticks I got a couple of the NYX soft matte lip creams I've already got four of these I think and I absolutely love them so I thought I would get kind of more of a baby pink and also kind of a bit of a plummy tone pink as well just for fun, uh, so I've got the shades Tokyo and Prague. So these are really pretty, and I really like the formula of these. It's kind of moussey, it dries down really nicely, it doesn't budge. It's probably one of the better matte formulas that I've tried, liquid lipstick matte formulas that I have tried so far, um, because it's not overly drying, whereas say the Stila liquid lipstick, which while it packs a huge punch, and I do love it, it's very drying on the lips and it tends to get a little bit crumbly just on the inside after you've been wearing it for a while, whereas these don't seem to have that issue. Okay, then the other lipsticks I got, um, these are actually from Wet n Wild, and I talked about these in my favorites video not too long ago. And I got the, these are all from the Fergie collection. Oh wow, I can't wait to wear these. I don't know if you guys can see the colors. I'll do a swatch for you though. Uh, wow. Um, so I got the shade VI Pink, which is kind of a purpley pink, movie pink. I got Penthouse Sweet, which is more of a bright fuchsia tone pink. Then I got Fergie Daily, which is just a nude. And then I got Ferguson Crest Cabernet, which is a really dark sort of winey color, which I think is it's really vampy. This would be kind of cool on a night out or when I'm wearing all black like I am today. These Wet n Wild lipsticks are probably one of my favorite formulas. They're kind of a semi-matte. They dry down really nicely. They don't feel uncomfortable on the lips. It's almost like you've got nothing on there all day, which is just so lovely. I just... I can't get enough with these lipsticks and they're really easy to wear as well and very creamy, very pigmented and I think the fact that they're only a few dollars each is just such a ridiculous bargain so I just kind of figured I might as well stock up while I can. <laughs> okay so I've got two more lip products in here. What does this 
last one. Oh, you can tell when you've got things ages ago and you can't even remember what they are. Oh, this is um, the Jordana Matte Lipstick in the shade Blazing Mango. I got this because I saw it on Taro from Shopstar Conquer and it looked really, really pretty. So I thought I might get it for myself and wow, it's really bright. It's that one there. Super bright. So that'll be a really fun summer shade. And it feels really nice and creamy. So I hope the formula is really good on this. I haven't tried this brand of lipstick before. All right. Okay. I completely forgot I ordered this. This looks like a different color than what I had ordered. Okay. Um, so I grabbed one of the LA Splash Lip Couture, is this even the, yeah, I got one of the LA Splash Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipsticks and I got this in the shade Till Midnight. I don't know if you guys know, but their factory was burnt down and they did, God, they did the most amazing kind of dull, mauve colour, um, which I'm sort of obsessed with at the moment, but anyway, this one looks like it'll be a lot of fun. It's a really bright, warm toned red. Oh wow, yeah, that's really fun, look at that. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to trying this out. I think this will be a bit of fun. I think it's gonna be a great summer shade, like maybe one for New Year's Eve, cause that isn't actually that far off now that I think about it. Yeah, so anyway, I'm really excited to try this as well. I'm a huge lipstick junkie, if you guys can't tell already, cause I think I just got 10 new lipsticks. Okay, so the last three items that I grabbed were from Everlane, and, sorry, it's pulling off the wrapping. So I grabbed one of their, this is the long sleeved linen tea, oh god, sorry. I grabbed one of their long sleeved linen tees in the white, and I got this in the size extra small just because I've got the tank in the small, and I kind of felt like maybe for this I'd get something a little bit more fitted. These are semi-sheer, so I might have to wear a little tank or something underneath, but I really love the quality of these. I can't get enough of it. I just think it's completely on par with the quality of my Acne Studios t-shirt, so which is a linen, and those retail for over $100, whereas this is more like 30 So, yeah, really, really excited to wear this one. And then, because if you buy two items from Everlane, you get the shipping free, I also grabbed another one of their Unet tees. This time I got it in the black. It looks like this. I got this in the extra small this time and it actually looks like it's going to be a much better fit on me. It looks a lot, um, it looks a lot smaller. The cotton feels slightly different, but it's really nice and soft. It's kind of a supreme cotton. It's really lovely. So yeah, this is going to be a great sort of weekend piece. I haven't really had too many t-shirts before now. So the fact that I can buy them in bulk from Everlane and it's really affordable, I am quite happy about. And they're also really good quality. So that's everything that I picked up. The box is now kind of empty except for the odd sample from Nars. It's a mascara apparently. Um, but yeah, so it's everything. As you can see, they send you all of the shipping labels and everything like that. So that you've still got all that information in case you like to keep that on hand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!